They didn't tell me about this particular individual in Toronto, Mr. Wei Zhou, and they didn't expel this particular individual. In fact, they continued to accredit this individual as a diplomat, giving this individual special rights and immunities not afforded to Canadians, allowing this individual to continue their coercion and intimidation campaign here in Canada. And that is the heart of the issue here. The government needs to come clean about who knew what and when and what they did about it. Uh, this information was in the hands of the government two years ago. We need to know when the public safety minister first became aware of this. We need to know when the, fine, the foreign affairs minister first became aware of this. And we need to know when the PMO first became aware of this. And if it turns out <clears throat> that the ministers of the Crown were aware of this two years ago and did nothing about it, it suggests political calculations were at play. If ministers of the Crown were complete, and their offices were completely unaware of this, this shows an appalling breakdown in leadership on part of the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister and the Prime Minister alone is responsible for the machinery of government. And for the Prime Minister not to know about this, not to be interested in this, I, I think indicates, uh, calls into question uh, the PMO's handle on the machinery of government. And so to finalize, uh, to finalize what I've been saying, uh, the issue here, what is new here, what's been revealed here in the last uh, several days, is the government did nothing about a person in Canada that was targeting me and my family and targeting other MPs. And that is an appalling lack of leadership and an appalling breakdown in the responsibility of the government of Canada. And the fact that this individual continues to remain in Canada is inexplicable. 